West Wing Wing says, zot, zot, zot. Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 16 Miller Pennsylvania Avenue and beyond. Zot, zot, zot. Please welcome to the stage. It's June 13th to June 19th, or Zot, Zot, Zot. President Obama started this West Wing week on the South Lawn, where he discussed how the United States would support Iraq's efforts to fight extremists who are threatening to overrun their country. That said, the president was also clear about what we would not do. The United States is not simply going to involve itself in a military action in the absence of a political plan by the Iraqis uh, that gives us some assurance that they're prepared to work together. The president then boarded Marine One to mark the first leg of a three-day trip out west. First up was the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in North Dakota, where the president channeled the words of Standing Rock's most famous resident, Chief Sitting Bull, to urge all Americans to work together for the benefit of future generations of Native Americans. So let's put our minds together to build more economic opportunity in Indian country. Let's put our minds together to improve our schools because our children deserve a world-class education, too, that prepares them for college and careers. On Saturday, the president made his way to the city and the home of the Angels to give the commencement address for the University of California, Irvine. There, he urged the anteater class of 2014 to continue working on one of the biggest threats to the world, climate change, and to refuse to be daunted by the work that that may entail. Hope is the belief against all evidence to the contrary that there are better days ahead and that together we can build up a middle class and reshape our immigration system and shield our children from gun violence and shelter future generations from the ravages of climate change. Hope is the fact that today, the single largest age group in America is 22 year old who are all just itching to reshape this country and reshape the world, and I cannot wait to see what you do tomorrow. Congratulations. Thank you, class of 2014. On Monday, south of the equator, the vice president attended the World Cup, stopping by the U.S. team's locker room after the game to congratulate them on their victory over Ghana. Appreciate it. Are you kidding me? This is a kick, man. Brazil was the first stop on a four-country, five-day diplomatic trip. Let's switch up this West Wing Week progression and break down the rest of this trip in 60 seconds. On Tuesday, the Vice President was in Brasilia for a one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Rousseff and a bilateral meeting with Vice President Timmer before delivering a statement to the press and stopping by the U.S. Embassy in Brasilia. Then it was on to Colombia. After landing in Bogota, the Vice President visited the chapel on top of the central Bogota mountain, Montserrat. Sitting more than 10,000 feet above sea level, the chapel is a destination due to its fallen lord statue. On Wednesday, the Vice President held a bilateral meeting with President Santos before delivering joint statements to the press. He then visited the National Center for Historic Memory, a museum dedicated to those whose lives were claimed during Colombia's internal conflict, then went on to a visit with the local U.S. Embassy. On Thursday, the Vice President met with President Medina of the Dominican Republic in Santo Domingo. Before departing for Guatemala, the Vice President spoke on the broadening partnership on energy security in the Caribbean. On Tuesday, back in the Northern Hemisphere, the President was visiting Tech Shop Pittsburgh, a company that helps American innovators make affordable prototypes to highlight America's growing manufacturing sector and underscore the importance of creating quality jobs in the future right here in America. I grew up in Hawaii as well. Hey, how's it? It's good, bro. Did you get back there once in a while? I'm going in like two weeks. Can I go with On Wednesday, the president hosted the first ever White House Maker Fair. <laughs> the event featured makers, innovators, and entrepreneurs of all ages who are using cutting edge tools and technology to bring their ideas to life. Let's take a look at what the president saw. Hey, that tickles. Yeah. So you got the other tickle, the tickle spot. Incubators. Yes, incubators. Cheap. Cheap incubators. 200 bucks. That's right. On Thursday, the president took to the podium in the Brady Press Briefing Room to announce his decision about how the United States will confront the challenge in Iraq, keeping our national security interests front and center. The president wrapped up this West Wing week in the East Room, where he awarded the Medal of Honor to Corporal Kyle Carpenter, who saved a fellow Marine by jumping on an enemy grenade in Afghanistan. Corporal William Kyle Carpenter should not be alive today, but the fact that he is gives us reason to trust that there is indeed a bigger plan. So God bless you, Kyle. God bless all who serve and protect the precious and amazing life that we are blessed with. May God continue to bless and keep strong the United States of America. Semper Fi. Corporal Carpenter is the third Marine to be awarded the Medal of Honor for actions in Iraq and Afghanistan. So as always, thanks to you, our viewer, for checking out this edition of West Wing Week. 
And remember, you can find out more information about any of these topics and see complete videos of these events at whitehouse.gov. Before we go, we put together some clips of Jay Carney's last moments at the White House. Jay, from all of us here on your team, thank you and good luck. Come on, Jay. We got one too? For me. Come on, we got to get Jay an official Air Force One picture. <laughs> Bags here. All right, let's do it. Last trip. Hey, everybody. All right. All right. You ready? All right. All right. Uh, well, thank you for that. That was pretty awesome. Uh, got it by voice's introduction. Uh, I appreciate that. Thank you all very much. I'm sure uh, we'll see each other again. Take care. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, not at the White House. Sorry, my last briefing. A couple more days here. I'll take that question. So when do you give uh, Josh the launch codes and everything? Oh, I couldn't possibly reveal that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all. Yeah, Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Bye-bye.